In this presentation, we are going to demonstrate how easy it is to quickly deploy a complete Elk cluster in containers using the Robin hyperconverged Kubernetes platform. The first thing we need to do is log into Robin. After that, we are immediately taken to the dashboard page that gives us an overview of the current activity on the cluster as well as how many resources we currently have in use. To deploy a new cluster, we go to the Applications menu and then to the Bundles page. We are then presented with a collection of application bundles to choose from. Let's select Elk 5.4.2. On the deployment page, we start by giving the application a name as well as a pool of IP addresses to choose from. Let's call it ELK542. These IP addresses are used to configure the different pods when they are initially created. Robin currently supports OpenB switch as well as Calico. Let's use the demo IP pool. A resource pool is a mechanism to logically group Robin hosts machines. This is used to control where the different tenants in the system are able to deploy their containers. In our case, we only have one. In the column on the left side of the page, we can select the components we need for our cluster. In each case, we can configure the resources we want to give them such as memory and CPU cores. We can also define for some of those services how many instances we want to have. We can also review the different volumes that would be mounted inside the containers. The data itself will be stored directly by the Robin software to local or remote storage devices. We can define if we want to store the volumes on spinning disks or SSDs. Depending on component we choose, we can select if we want Robin to take care of replicating the data or if the service itself will take care of it. Finally, we can look at placement rules for the component. Those rules are used to define affinity and anti-affinity rules, and we can thus define how we want or don't want the containers to be deployed. On a small demonstration cluster like this one, we can simply skip those. On larger clusters, these affinity rules become very useful. Once everything is configured, we can have a look at the bottom line that sums up all the resources the cluster is going to have allocated in order to deploy those containers. Everything looks good, and we can now ask Robin to deploy and configure everything. Robin will then compute where the different containers should be deployed based on the resources we asked for and the different placement rules, if any. After a few minutes, we have a running Elk cluster, and we can review the different containers that have been set up for us. After clicking on the Close button, the page is automatically refreshed, and we are taken to the running application where we can review the different containers. By scrolling down, we can see the different containers that are currently running and the different services that they belong to. We also have information about the containers themselves, such as the host name, the exposed port number, and the container IP address. In the upper right corner of the page, we have a drop down menu called Service Info that allows us to get direct access to the different consoles relevant for the application we just deployed. From now on, we can use and manage our Elk cluster running in containers on the Robin hyperconverged Kubernetes platform just like any other Elk cluster.